approaching halt. But the country faces a crisis after the police obstructed the Elections Commission from taking the materials to the 202 inhabited islands and letting the ballot take place. The staff there are dismayed. We wanted to hold the election today, said the Maldives Elections Commissioner, but the police personnel in this building stopped us from taking anything from here, so we have no other option except to stop the election. The police said they stopped the vote because two of the three presidential candidates hadn't approved the registry of voters. We are taking a stand that we, we, are not be, we will not be able to help, assist, if the guidelines are not being followed. Both men trailed in the presidential election, which was held last month and was pronounced free and fair by international monitors, but was later annulled by the Supreme Court on grounds of fraudulent voter lists. The two losing candidates sought a court injunction against this fresh vote, but the court gave no clear message either way. The front-runner candidate, Mohamed Nasheed, the Maldives' first democratically elected president, was keen for this vote to go ahead. Given that the police played a major role in forcing him from office last year, his supporters are especially indignant. Charles Haviland, BBC News. Colombo. OK, let's take you live to the heart of the story. We're going to talk now to J.J. Robinson. J.J. Robinson is the editor of the website Minivan News, based in the capital, Mali. J.J. Robinson, I mean, have the police gone too far here, do you think? Um, well, certainly, if you ask many people on the street, uh, the, the impression is that they were expecting a vote today, um, and they weren't expecting the police to cancel it um, fairly unilaterally at the last minute. Um, certainly the police seem to have taken it upon themselves to interpret the Supreme Court's guidelines for the election given to the uh, Elections Commission um, in a court ruling on October 7. Um, if, this is the second delay. OK, if this is about this registry of the voters, does that mean that there are genuine and real worries about vote rigging perhaps going on? Uh, well, the first election was uh, unanimously, on September 7, was unanimously praised as uh, free and fair by uh, more than a thousand local and international election observers. Um, some very experienced people, in fact, said it was um, possibly one of the best elections they've actually seen, um, particularly with regards to the voter registry and, and its accuracy. Um, the, the allegations of rigging are coming from the third place candidate. Um, and um, were, were, were backed up in court with a secret police report um, that was not actually released to the defense, um, the Elections Commission's defense lawyers, to, ca um, to work out whether or not it was an actual fact correct. It highlighted um, some 5,600 irregularities in the first register. Um, didn't necessarily clarify whether or not these were uh, translated to votes. Um, and was only able to pinpoint about 243, I believe, uh, fraudulent votes, um, not, which was not, of course, enough to impact the outcome of the election. J.G. Robinson, Life for us in Mali, thanks very much. Okay, let's wrap up some more top stories for you today.